The Democrats and the media are realizing Biden can't be rehabbed, so Trump needs to be neutralized. No one's buying their hoaxes anymore. The indictments only reinforce Trump's connection with voters, so the media has an additional strategy. Shame. Make regular Americans ashamed to associate with them. They'll make Trump into a racist, Russian-loving rapist with a rap sheet and say, you're not going to ruin your reputation by aligning with that guy, are you? If he's going to be shameless, which is his greatest asset, the shamelessness of him, is then, then Biden has to get in there very hard and go, rapist, racist, fascist, over and over and over again, hammer it in with those three things, rapist, uh, racist, fascist. It's what high school girls do. And it can only work if the others are weak. Yesterday, ABC's George Stephanopoulos tried it with Nancy Mace, an actual rape victim who testified about her abuse. Watch. How do you square your endorsement of Donald Trump with the testimony we just saw? Well, I will tell you, I was raped at the age of 16. Um, and any rape victim will tell you, I've lived for 30 years with a, an incredible amount of shame over being raped. I didn't come forward because of that judgment and shame that I felt. I'm not going to sit here on your show and be asked a question meant to shame me about another uh, potential rape victim. I'm not going to. I'm not going to do that. It's, it's actually not about shaming you. It's a question about. Donald no, you Trump. are shaming you, me. What you're doing is defending a man who's been found liable for rape. I don't understand how you can do that. Not in a criminal court of law. You're trying to shame me again by asking you've, me this you've political question. That, you've repeated that again I think again it's and offensive. Again. As a woman, I find, your, I find it offensive. Have you ever witnessed this before? A woman shares with you that she's been raped, and you respond with, ah, well, what about Trump? Not, I'm sorry to hear that. That must have been so difficult. But you're a hypocrite. We asked ABC News about George's behavior, and they said that George was just, quote, asking meaningful questions that are relevant to our viewers. I wonder if George's work for Bill Clinton is relevant to their viewers because their anchor has a history of demeaning sexual abuse survivors and accusers. Back in the 90s, Stephanopoulos worked for the Clinton campaign and served in the White House, and George had a whole war room dedicated to silencing Bill's accusers. It wasn't believe all women back then. It was belittle all women who accused Clinton. And with the help of Carville and Hillary, they smeared everyone, from Juanita Broderick to Jennifer Flowers, Paula Jones, Connie Hamsey. We got a glimpse into these tactics in the 93 War Room documentary. Well, what is names and addresses? I can send you a fax with names, addresses, phone numbers of, of who you had an affair with. It wouldn't make it true. It is completely bullshit. If you went on the radio and said that Bill Clinton is uh, the father of an illegitimate black child, you would be laughed at. People would think you're crazy. I guarantee you that if you do this, you'll never work in democratic politics again. Maybe you don't want to. I'm not saying it matters. You will be embarrassed before the National Press Corps. People will think nobody will believe you, and people will think you're scummy. Stephanopoulos is a Democrat knife fighter. He's there to win elections, not cover the news. In his book, Stephanopoulos called Bill's past accusers and alleged sexual partners bimbos multiple times. And when the truth broke about the Lewinsky scandal, Stephanopoulos wrote this. My defense of Clinton against past bimbo eruptions had been predicated on my belief that he wouldn't create new ones. Stephanopoulos partied with Epstein after he was released from jail for soliciting prostitution from a minor. Georgia had dinner at his mansion. How could George associate himself with men accused of rape? No one asks George this because you're not allowed to. But you're allowed to ask Republicans anything, even Republican rape victims on live TV. This is the new strategy, the shame game. And the same shysty, cynical operatives that slandered Clinton victims are back to victim shaming to keep another president in power. Kaylee McEnany is the former White House press secretary and co-host of Outnumbered. I don't know if this is going to go over the way that Stephanopoulos thinks it is, Kaylee. No, he looked horrible in this. But here's what I think is important. I think that this interview needs to be deconstructed because it should be a case study for what the Trump campaign, Republicans, conservatives are up against for the next eight months. When you look at this interview, 
He took something that was not newsworthy. The news of the week was State of the Union, Super Tuesday, Biden and Trump having rallies in Georgia. He ignored all of that. And remember, he's on the Sunday shows. He's supposed to cover the news. And instead, he talked about Trump posting bond and E. Jean Carroll, even though the verdict was found weeks and weeks ago. It was not a newsworthy segment. However, he spent five minutes and 50 seconds grilling Nancy Mace on this, bringing up rape. And then at the five minute and 50 second mark, you know what he says? Let's turn to January 6th and spends <laughs> all 10 minutes on January 6th and rape of a 44 minute show, Sunday show. That is what Republicans are up against. Well, January 6th, Biden calls it July 6th. It's just the same thing. Kaylee, Mace, <laughs> Mace gave it back. Do you think that that is scared Stephanopoulos off from trying this shame game going forward. Yes. I mean, he's going to do yes. this with Nancy all Republican Mace. women going forward. And every Republican woman should study what Nancy Mace did. She did not give an inch. She did not back down. She didn't stay on defense. No, she went on offense and went right for the jugular with him. And what did Stephanopoulos look like? He looked like a scared fourth grade boy that had forgotten to study for the test and showed up and was scrambling for something to say. In fact, he kept saying the same thing over and over again. It was so rote that at points during that five minute and 50 seconds, I thought I had accidentally rewound the segment on YouTube. But no, it was just him saying the same thing. So every person who decides to go out on a Sunday show, study what Nancy Mace did, find your offense talking point and prosecute the case, because that's what we need to do heading into November. Yeah, and just study what Kaylee does on Outnumbered. That'll prepare you very well as well. <laughs> Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.